Went to the coal mines to collect some coal cars. The guard blows whistle and he set off happily. Meanwhile, Mark was heading to the big station to collect some passengers. He grumbled all the way there. He was grumbling so much he didn't notice the crossing gate up ahead. Stupid engines ignoring me. I was showing them all. Um, Mark, you need to slow down. Wait, what? Slow down! Mark looked up ahead and he saw the crossing gate. Oh, shit! Mark slammed on his brakes, but it was too late. Where well, crash and a slam, the crossing gate burst into pieces. They laid all over the track. Oh, God. I'll be back, Mark. Just stay there. I'll get help. As the driver was out of sight, he heard a whistle. It was Tom coming down the line. Mark saw the rubble, but except warning Tom, he decided to get back at him for ignoring him. <laughs> I'll show him who's boss. Stop, Jack! Stop! said Tom. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And Jack put his brakes on. Tom tried to stop, but the heavy trucks pushed him over too fast. Oh, and brace for impact! Oh crap, oh shit, oh no! With, with a crash, Tom crashed right into the broken gate, causing him to come down the rails. And he was heading straight to a, to a barn. Horace! And cried Tom and shut his eyes. Tom crashed through the wall. Oh, animals were startled. Tom burst out the other side. Oh, oh, damn, that shit hurts. No one was hurt, but Tom's buffers were badly bent. Oh, shit. We'll get help. Mark drove the way to the big station. Watch where you're going next time. Oh. Soon, Rosie came with the breakdown train and took Tom to the engine works. Are you okay, Tom? What happened? Oh, it was Mark. That That's what. He drove right into the crossing gate and I crashed. And he didn't even bother to warn me. How dare he? I, and all, and all because of I was ignoring him. He will get one day. That night, Rosie was telling the angels what happened. He what? He could kill. I'm going to kill him. He went too far. We need to teach him a lesson, that son of a bitch. Soon, Oliver came to talk, tell the engines the news. Oh, Mr. Mark. Or, my, I mean, Mr. Oliver. Please, can you please tell us about Tom? How's he doing? Bad news, everyone. I'm afraid Tom has to stay at the engine works for two weeks. What? I was told that the engine works has run out of spare buffers and it will take a very long time to make new ones. The engines were sad. That's terrible, said Nogla. That not so the engines had to go to sleep thinking how to get back at Mark for all the things he did.